So opportunities in the spirit, they come and they go. So what I'm telling you now, if you feel there is something that is blocking your life, let us remove it. Amen. Let's have faith wherever you're watching from. We need to pray together and let's cast it out. Raise up your right hand and say in the name of Jesus. I stand in agreement with the prophet of God. I command every hindrance over my life to be removed, to be broken. I serve a God who is great, who is mighty, who is terrible in Jesus' name. There is power, so much power, and we are here for that. This God shows up for those who are helpless and He makes His own judgment and He gives them food, even clothing. He's interested even in your fashion. I oh, didn't hear me, <laughs> He's interested even in your fashion, that He's able even to give people clothes. And when you read it in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, when they speak the details of how in heaven the clothing, the type of gowns they wear, even the gown that Jesus Christ puts on. You ready for prayer, right? Say so every blockage I remove you now. Something is taking place. Are you, are you ready for this? Something is what? Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Say it again. Say in the name of Jesus. So as I pray, forces of darkness will collapse. Put the hands, put the hands, put the hands. Somebody say, the God whom I save, he is great, mighty, and terrible. Listen, do not put yourself on a corner and look at your ability and capacity to say, the way I am, how can I walk out? And you sit down and you see the level of attacks you have. And they say, no, 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 no. I don't think I can come out. It's too much. That is a self-imposed barrier. Listen to me. I'm trying to tell you this before we even go further. Because we'll be going further on this teaching even much deeper. As we go on Friday, on Sunday, as we go. I want first of all you to remove everything that can be blocking you. This mentality of thinking your problem is too much. That you are in a big trouble. That your life is like that should come out of you. Because the God whom we save. He cannot be fit in your situation. He is, he is beyond what you know. He can make things happen within overnight. They may see you sleeping as a poor woman. They can be shocked you can wake up a millionaire. They saw Joseph sleeping as a prisoner. He woke up as a minister of finance. He woke up as the prime minister of Egypt. He woke up as a governor of, of Reserve Bank. That's the God whom we serve. Mary slept with food in her stomach without any man in her life. And she woke up pregnant. God can turn around your story within a second. Do not put a boundary for him. He is El Gado. Yare. He is great, mighty, and terrible. I prophesy. Nothing will stop you. Nothing will block you. You are walking out of the situation. Somebody shout out, receive it. I'm here. I'm, I'm trying to tell you something. You see, there are people who are putting God on the corner and they reason and they see the situation and they think it's too much. Not now. I want you to know, if you remove this out of the, if you take this out, at least we are 50% closer to the wall in your life to collapse. Uh, you didn't hear me. I'm saying 